to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Right, come here. You can bring your snacks. Uh, I don't know. You're gonna have to hold on to them, okay? Oh, the duck. Oh my gosh, go show her. You got the duck. Is that a giant duck? And a lizard. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, color, color. You wanna go inside? Go inside? <laughs> <Balls>. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can we at least make it inside? What? <laughs> what? Oh. Let's go in. Let's go inside. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, fluffy. He's a dinosaur, not a giraffe. It's close though, because he's got a long neck. <laughs> Look. like a half-hearted. She likes that duck. She loves the duck. You want the duck? How much is the duck? <laughs> Go ask. <laughs> she likes the bitch. Sweet girl. Come on. Come on. She's like, let me put this down. <laughs>
Oh, and I'll keep chasing her around. Oh my gosh, what's up guys? Okay, so, terrible with names. Linnea. Linnea. And Chuck. Chuck. You guys are subscribers. Yes. yes. And we just so happen to kind of run into each other here in New Braunfels. So, uh, do y'all have a channel? No. no. We just follow okay. everybody on okay. YouTube. Okay. I was gonna, I was gonna shout y'all out, it. but <laughs> they got to meet and Eva and Matt, and we're just kind of out for the day, um, just doing some shopping, and lo and behold, we got some, we got yeah, some of the cool. wandering family here, so pretty cool, <laughs> so cool. <laughs> They're everywhere. I don't know. I remember as a kid, we had these stick bugs. Not these kind of stick bugs, but stick bugs. And so it was like these little praying mantis things. And so now they're like these giant mutant bugs that uh, my daughter gets to grow up with. So I guess those are now her stick bugs while mine were much smaller. So hopefully everything in life keeps getting bigger or grander, however you want to look at it. But So today I am gonna just be moving rocks and so we have I'm also trying to put on my shoes that I'm hoping there's no spiders in and yes I'm wearing my little fancy workout pants or whatever you want to call them that Blair got me for Father's Day because I'm too cheap to buy myself so there's four of these piles of rocks here's two one over there next to some trash obviously moving the trash moving the two by four Leaving the sand for the stucco guy, which, yeah, there's no stucco. But it's just one of those things. It, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm watching someone. I, I think there's like a delivery for us or something. Either way, yeah, just going to clean up the yard before Blair leaves for St. Louis. And, um, yeah, there's a... Uh, oh, God. There's Blair. <laughs> you can't see her in the window, but she's just waving like a lunatic and dancing. She's dancing. She's dancing with the child, I assume. I don't know, maybe not. I uh, gotta move all this elsewhere. I'm pretty, pretty much just gonna put everything by this pole, because I know no one's gonna be working over there except to take out, which way is my hand going, uh, to take out the uh, temporary, because uh, that's gonna be gone very soon. We paid for it, and then now it's leaving, so I don't know. Either way, as long as everything gets done. Uh, yeah, just picking up general trash around the area. Um, I just want it to be clean. I want to look outside and just see, you know, nature. Not not that <laughs> so uh the sooner we can get that done the better uh just because i don't know i want to start working on the front yard but again i kind of want the house to be where i need it to be because obviously trucks are going to be coming in to put up the, the stucco and drop off more sand for the stucco uh and really that's it i mean there's going to be a little bit of a lumber delivery but we can work around that i'm still trying to figure out exactly where the driveway is going to go because we still don't have a driveway but we do need it within probably the year because of rain if not we're walking it literally takes us a minute almost two minutes uh just to walk from where we'd have to park in the rain and that means we're walking through mud so i don't know i may even lay some brick we have just a pile of brick laying back there i can at least give us a place to park um on you know and so i'm not going to do that today that's maybe next weekend or something like that but yeah i mean just so many ideas this is what i was waiting for this whole time two or three years later whatever it is um of all these plans uh, a place that I can work on on my own, and then of course there's a bigger plan of just you know now there's some equity, <laughs> you know, on our behalf, and so we can po possibly do some other projects. So uh, really cool stuff happened. Um, the reason for the 
the name of the channel now. <laughs> it's uh, it's starting to, to come to fruition. So uh, gonna clean. I'll show a little bit of that. Uh, I may try to get a tan while doing it, so I don't know if I'm gonna show too much just because of, you know, this. So. Okay, I thought that Matt was gonna show you all his hard work, um, because he did all that work and then didn't show you what he ended up doing. So you saw the before. Here's the after. So it's completely cleared out. All of that brick is ours. So he's mentioned before that we're going to be building a fire pit out here with all of that brick. And he said that we might even have enough to do maybe like a little, not like an actual path, but like a little path marker out to the fire pit. So he did a phenomenal job. Did he not? Let's give him some kudos in the comments, even though he doesn't read them, but I will read them to him. Yeah, he worked really hard on that. Hauling all the trash, moving all of that brick. I mean, a bunch of stuff. So I'm really proud of him. I'm gonna go ahead and close out the video, close out the vlog here with a bit of a chat. I'm sure some people are gonna ask us about the stucco, what's going on with Pablo. And this is the last time I'm gonna talk about it because our main goal was to get into the house. We knew it wasn't going to be finished when we got in. We were okay with that. But that being said, things are still frustrating with our contractor, but I don't want to give that any more energy and time on this channel. Our focus is to enjoy the house. Our focus is to enjoy our life and enjoy Eva and just this new chapter of our lives. And the YouTube channel is something to document it, to share with others, to hopefully help educate and encourage others as well. I don't want to give that negativity any more space on our channel. We've talked about our frustrations. We've aired them out for you guys. You've seen the ups and the downs of the house building process. And we still have a lot of frustrations. I'm not going to lie. We are still very frustrated with what has been going on or what is not going on currently and how things should be done that aren't done. But at that time, it there's nothing we can do about it on the channel. And so I don't want to constantly harp on the fact that that's not done, this isn't done. You know, there's there's a couple things inside the house that aren't aren't a big deal, but it's still things that should have been done by now. And so, like I said, this is the last time we're gonna talk about it. It's an ongoing thing but it's just not something that I wanna share on the channel anymore because I want to focus more on the positives and enjoying life. And I know we always keep it real with, with you on here, but I just feel like it's not necessary to talk about it any further because one, it's frustrating for me, but two, it's like, what else is there gonna, besides us just venting about it and, and kind of whining and complaining about it, you know, we're still dealing with things on the back end, but I'm just not going to share them. Soon, you guys will see that the stucco will be worked on. We'll show that. But as far as the talk about the contractor and the issues there, I just don't want to talk about it anymore on the channel because I want to focus on the positive. So there's that. Speaking of positives, um, the fact that we saw some subscribers out in green, the green New Braunfels area this weekend blew my mind. And it was, it completely made my day because it reminded us of the community that we have been working on building over here on the channel for so many years. And I know some days I get frustrated and, and kind of down because, you know, I, I feel like a lot of people lost interest in the channel since we stopped traveling. And I, that's fine, you know, people, like to watch certain things on YouTube. And once a creator falls out of that niche, that niche, um, they lose interest and it happens. But the fact that we have had so many people, a part of this community since the beginning of our RV journey, since before that, since this was a fitness channel that I ran by myself, technically I still run it by myself, but Matt's a part of the channel more now than he was before. And it was such a reminder to me that it's not about 
the views, it's not about the subscribers, it's about the people that are affected in a positive way by our videos. And sometimes it's one person, sometimes it's a hundred people. But the fact that we are positively impacting at least one person makes sharing all of this worth it. And it was such a great reminder to me because, you know, it, it's hard to lose sight of that sometimes. And my goal on social media is to positively impact others. And that's why I've always been so honest because I know from my own experience that it's helpful to know that you're not alone. So when I struggled with postpartum depression, whenever we've struggled with the house, and, you know, um, trying to uh, survive as parents, um, everything, just sharing my journey, it's helpful to know that I'm not alone. And I know that somebody out there has found our videos helpful in some way. And so meeting Chuck and Linnea was just incredible because it reminded me of why I put so much time and effort into this channel and it's to connect with other people out there that we would have otherwise never been able to connect with. And now we connected with them and we're going to have dinner after we get back from, after I get back from St. Louis, you know, we're going to meet up with them because they're local. And it was just so absolutely incredible. And Chuck and Linnea, I'm so glad y'all said hi. I'm so glad that we just so happened to be shopping at the same store in the little town of Green, Texas on the same day. Um, it's just cool, you know, thinking about those chance happenings and it's like, what are the odds? You know, our, our channel is not massive, um, but like, what are the odds? It's just so cool, so, so cool. And I just wanted to say again, and I tried to tell every single one of you as much as possible how much I appreciate all of the love and support and encouragement on all of our videos. And it means more than any of you can know to us. And yeah, it's just, we just appreciate every single one of you so much. And so that's it, I'm gonna wrap up the video. Hope you enjoyed, if you did, please make sure and hit that thumbs up, leave us a comment below. Um, all of the engagement, commenting, liking, sharing, subscribing helps the channel. It helps other people see our channel. Um, and that's it. All right, next time you see me, I will be in St. Louis or back, I guess. Either way, I'll be in St. Louis. Um, first trip away from Eva for more than three or four hours. Honestly, this is the first time I have traveled by myself. I'm going with a friend, but somebody that is non-family, I'm going on a plane by myself. I know I'm 32 years old and I've never flown by myself. So if you could just maybe say a quick prayer for me because I also have very, very bad anxiety and the planes still do require you wearing masks, which causes panic attacks for me. Um, planes cause panic attacks for me. So this is gonna be a, a pretty good test of, of me, of my strength, of my mental strength, of my, my faith. Um, so it's gonna be great. But if you could just you know say a quick prayer, send some positive vibes my way, that um, the travel portion goes well, you know, safe travels and all of that. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna be sharing updates on my personal Instagram, which is Blueberry Fitness, and I will be vlogging the entire thing. So I think that'll be really, really fun. I will share all of it, the good and the bad. <laughs> okay, hope you have fun out there. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show.